What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Alrighty, so let's go straight to Route 215 and get this thing handled because uh, we kind of have to. Um, let's see, where are we? Yeah, Route 215, gonna turn on the Dowsy Machine because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a few hidden items around here. Would like to get my hands on some of those items, and uh, well, I'm looking around, and uh, right now we're only finding a tree, so let's go ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers, because, uh, you know, that seems to be the fun thing to do, right? 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm looking at nobody right now. And so, here we go, Ruin Maniac is coming out with his Bronzor, and I'm coming out with Hydra number four. Hydra number four looks like he's hungry. Let's go beat this Bronzor, this uh, imitation of a Matang. Yeah, let's beat him. Bite attack. What now? What now? And yes, you flinch. So you're going to get two for flinching. And again, I really, 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 really uh, hate the fact that my Hydra number four is ha hasn't learned a water type attack yet because this would have been perfect right now. Just beating everybody with, uh, with Surf or Water Gun or any kind of water attack. Rain boosts up the water type moves. Hell, if I had Thunder on me, it wouldn't have missed. Not one friggin' time. But no. We're gonna we're gonna have to go with Donatello right here because uh well he's the only Pokemon that knows a few good moves. And here is Shieldon, a fossil Pokemon, huh? Look at that. He looks pretty cool. Is it a Triceratops? Can't be a Triceratops because it doesn't have three horns, right? Is it a three horn, like they say in the in the land before times? Long neck. Uh, duck bill, uh, long neck. Uh, I already said that. Three horn. Shoot, they 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 just called each other. They they called each other with the by the description of their looks and stuff. So that's uh, that's pretty interesting right there. Anywho, Mega Drain. Does it do anything? It takes some, and it misses with its uh, takedown attack. So what we're going to do right now is enjoy the rain and then we're gonna get some right here we're gonna just shoot them with a little bit of a mega drain right here again you know you can never ever 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 come out with no energy right here yeah look at that get it what now so there goes shield on and uh, well experience points everywhere and uh, well Ruin Maniac Calvin is not so happy right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just grab some items. Here we have a Max Ether, which uh, could be useful for our Pokemon. And uh, this guy does not want to battle us right now, so that's good. That's a good thing. Let's see. I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon. I have a feeling that that Pokemon trainer has uh, got beef with us. No, nope. doesn't have beef with us. He's just talking about something uh, fighting and all that stuff. So he gives us a TM66, which is pretty good. And it's called Payback, which is a Dark-type move. And it's a good move. Good move if uh, you do have a Dark-type Pokemon. And it looks like to me there's an item right here. Look at that. We found ourselves a Revive, which is good. And uh, let's see. Oh, we got another Pokemon Trainer to go. I don't think I have a Pokemon that has Cut. I'm kind of confused right now. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't even know. So here we go. Black Belt Derek coming out with his Krogunk. Krogunk. That poison type Pokemon with the middle finger. You know, I always wanted to get a Krogunk and use it for my team, but it didn't really fit the whole, uh, the whole, you know, uh, aspect of my team. I mean, I have, I have Garchomp, and well, not Garchomp, but eventually I'm gonna have a Garchomp with a Tarkal or not a Tarkal. Wow, I can't even say I can't. A Turtwig or shoot, a Grottle. Is it a Grottle? I don't even know. I have two ground type Pokemon, and right now, oh god, uh, see, this is the, this is what happens when I don't pay attention to my Pokemon. They just get beat every single time, and it so happens to be Gaia number two. We gotta beef you up, buddy, because once you evolve, nobody's able to stop you. Trust me, I know. And uh, well, we're gonna go to Starblade right here, and uh, we're gonna just uh, take revenge over our fallen friend right here. I think that's what payback is. Huh, that's what it could be, and uh, look at that, Krogunk, defeated. It's like Mortal Kombat right here. What now? So Black Belt Derek is not too happy right now, which is good. Very, very good for us. And, uh, okay, well, we gotta use a revive, again, on our, yeah, on our Curlia, again. That's always nice. Very, very nice right there, so... 
Okay, we're gonna switch out Pokemon. Um, actually, we're gonna take this. Yeah, it, it, I've been meaning to do this for quite some time, but I, I have to give the experience share to my uh, guy at number two because right now it's not showing much. It's at level 20, and right now going into the route 215 and on, we're getting our ass kicked. And oh god, I. Okay, so I mistakenly. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> I mistakenly pressed teleport and it teleported us all the way back to Heart Home City, the last place where I was in a Pokemon Center. Good god. I probably should have edited this thing out right here. Yeah. Probably should have edited this one out. Asshole. Asshole Curlia. See, this is what happens when you don't train your Curlia. Alright, hello Salacion Town, and uh, goodbye. Hello Route 210, goodbye. And we're gonna go straight back to where we <laughs> initially needed to be, and it's right around here. Hey, what's up guy? And going back here, going down there, and uh, okay, back to this guy right here. So like I was saying, yes, I need to train my, uh, my Curlia just a little bit more. And I do have a Pokemon with Cut, so I'm gonna use that, and uh, really. Wherever there's an item, there, oh, there's always a catch. Nothing's for free, guys. Battling this asshole right here. So, here we go. Black Belt Gregor wants to buy us, or wants to fight us. And he's coming out with a mod chop. So, I'm going to come out with Gaia number two. And hopefully, just hopefully, it will win. I'm kind of hoping on it. I mean, I'm probably going to be praying to the RCS gods, you know, that kind of stuff. And there we go. Confusion is super effective. And this guy's only using Foresight, which is good. It's good. Very, very good. Okay, bring it. Just bring it. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Confusion attack. Ah, there we go. Suck it, Machop. Suck it. Alrighty. Okay, so guy number two is picking up some traction right there. Look at that. Level 21, finally. And uh, we got a little bit more rain coming, so uh, that's pretty much a bad thing right there. Now, in case you guys are wondering, yes, I will be evolving Gaia number two into what was it again? Uh, Galade, yeah, Galade. Yes, I will be tra uh, evolving it into a Galade. Now, the only problem is that at level 30, Curlia does evolve into Gardevoir, so I'm gonna have to try and find myself an Everstone just to prevent that whole thing from happening. Um, and the, and then yeah, have to prevent that from happening. Plus, I have to find the, ele the elemental stone to evolve it, which hopefully I will find it pretty soon here. And look at that. Suck it, Machop. See, a two-match winning streak right here for my Gaia. Look at that. That's good. Good, good, Gaia. And this guy's coming out with another Machop. Now, should I risk it? Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I, I think Gaia number two is already hating me as it is just because, you know, it's losing every friggin' time. I'm just saying. And, uh, well, there we go. Lower its stats. Machop not feeling so good, so here we go with the wing attack. That's right. Wing attack for the win. How about that? How about that? And, uh, Starblade grows to level 27, which is also good, but here's the, here's the kicker, too. Gaia number two? Eh, grow some levels, too, or grow some experience points without even doing anything. And look at that. We found ourselves a fist plate, which... Huh, look at that. It, it actually does power uh, power up fire type Pokemon. But it is also useful for a certain god Pokemon out there. And, uh... Alrighty. What is next? Uh, yes, I'm gonna have to be switching up my Pokemon, and I have to be careful with that teleport thing again. So let's go ahead and uh, move on forward right here. And there's an item right there, and I'm gonna actually cut this thing right here because there's a few berries that needs to be tended to. There's two Pekka Berries or Peacha Berries or... I don't even know. Butcher of Names. That's what I am. Sorry, guys. And here's Blood Berries. That's right. Two Blood Berries. Blood. Or Bluck. <laughs> okay, so we got that. And, uh... Well, as you can see, the time of the day has changed right there. Now it's, like, I guess, afternoonish. So I think we'll be seeing some different type of Pokemon right here. Not really, but... Because I'm using my repels, but it is a good thing. And uh, let's see. Well, we can go over there later. We're going to go right here. And here we found ourselves another hyper potion, which is good. You know, it's always nice to have some healing items right there. And 
Okay, let's go ahead and use this. The cut technique. Bidoof. You've never let me down, right? And there's another Pokemon trainer. Oh, well, I don't see why that, that was there. Oh, yeah, so we don't have to see him. Wow, okay. Okay, I see what I see where that is. Okay, so here we go. Black Belt Nathaniel wants to fight, and he's coming out with his Krogunk. I'm coming out with Toothless. Mm-hmm. All right, Toothless. That's what you got to do. Use the Dragon Rage. Now, I still don't have any ground-type moves yet. I think I deleted those. But eventually, it'll learn some good, you know, ground-type moves. And it will win us some matches easily and all that stuff. And... You know, we don't have to struggle ever, ever, ever again because, you know, why not? And Crony, why would you miss that? Ah, you suck. Okay, here we go again. Let's go with a takedown attack. What now? Say goodbye, Krogon. Bye bye And, uh, righty, okay. And then, uh, what's next? Yeah, I know the rain is falling. Now bring on the next one. He's coming out with a Machop, so I'm going to be switching him up again. And uh, this should be another battle that Gaia number two should win. Come on, Baby Arceus, help us out. Let's do this. Baby Arceus will help us out right here. And, uh, okay. Let's go with a Confusion Attack. Yeah, buddy. Oh, God. Nearly makes him, nearly makes him fate. And, wow, seriously, Foresight? You do realize that... Eh, well, I'm not even going to say anything because he might hear me and it might use that certain attack to beat me so I'm gonna finish him off right here with the confusion attack what now say goodbye Machop say good freaking bye all right and then uh, well, the rain is continuing to fall I'm reading everything I see here and uh, he's coming out with a metatite which is a combination Pokemon of uh, fighting and psychic type so that won't do us any good right here so I'm gonna go with Donatello and uh, I'm just, you know, doing the rock thing. Just bring it. Just bring it. Before he became Dwayne Johnson. Well, he was always Dwayne Johnson. He's just, to me, he was always the rock. The people's champion. The jabroni beating. Lao eating. You know what I mean. Pie eating. Eyebrow raising. <laughs> I could go on and on, but I'm not going to do it right here. And, uh... Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. Here we go. And... Seriously, why would you prolong this? You suck! Okay, bring it. Alright. Let's go again with the Razor Leaf for the win. That's right. Take it like a man. Take it like a man, that's right. He took it like a man. And everybody's getting experience points, and look at that. Nathaniel is conceding. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so... I think there's a... I don't know, there was uh, something right here. Oh, there's more trainers. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm me thinking that I still have to use a Super Rip out, but I'm going to grab a few things. Let's see. Uh, there's no hidden item right there. So let's grab this, the HP up, which could be useful for any Pokemon who has low HP. Or you could just sell it for 4900 hey, Either or. And uh, let's see another item right there. Grab that. And we found ourselves the TM34 Shockwave, which is a very good move. If you don't want to miss anything, um, I think I, I think I will be teaching one of my Pokemon that. And this guy will not battle us until a certain time of the day. Don't really remember. Don't care. As long as I don't have to battle everybody, then that's great. The last time I have to do, you know, work smarter, not harder. And there we go. We found ourselves a full heal, which is also great. Alrighty, and uh, there's a repel off. And uh, who's next? Oh, she could, oh, yeah, it's a double battle. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. Okay. So here we have two Ace Trainers, Maya and Dennis, coming out with a Roselia and a Glygord. <coughs> Damn. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. And uh, who's going to win this one? I want to know. I really want to know. Okay, so we got two Poison-like Pokemon right here. And uh, I gotta switch one of my Pokemon out, and uh, let's go with the Dragon Rage onto Gligar right here. Well, here we have a Star Blade. That's right, we're gonna decrease more of your attack. Haha, -ha, feel the blade. Feel the burn! Well, it doesn't affect Gligar because it has Hyper Claw or something, Hyper Cut or whatever. Yeah, and there's that Poison Sting and Crud. Do not make it 
All right. And uh, yeah, it's trying to poison us right now, which it won't happen because I will not switch with any of my Pokemon right here. All right, bring it. <laughs> Let's get it. Attack with full force. Wing attack. Yeah, I love the sound. I love that sound. And there we go. Super effective. And, uh, okay, hurry it up. And hey, look at that. Gaia number two grows to level number or 22, and it's learning Magical Leaf, which is also a good move. Should have learned it a while back. I do admit that I, I was uh, slagging just a little bit, but it's all right. And uh, look at that. Magical Leaf. And here we go. Dragon Rage. Finish him off. Glagger's defeated. What now? What now? How does that feel? And, uh, level 27 for Hydra number 4. That's great. That is good. And, what, we still got more to battle? What the, what the hell? Ah, oh, crud. I completely forgot that these guys like to have full teams, right? And he's coming out with Ligatung and a Buisel, so... I guess... Ah, oh, crud. Well, here's the mistake that I'm gonna make. I did. I am gonna switch my one of my Pokemon, and it will get poisoned afterwards. Ah, oh, crud! Because of those poison spikes. Look at that. It's poisoned. Now, the only way to take away poison spike is by by actually switching one of your Pokemon out with the poison type Pokemon. That will actually destroy the effects of any kind of poison sp spikes. Unfortunately, I don't have any poison type Pokemon, and right now I'm gonna be losing some uh, HP because of that freaking move. No biggie, here we go. Razor Leaf and Dragon Rage. We're gonna do a double attack right now. I'm gonna defeat you. And uh, Lickitung, some, for some reason, it does uh, avoid my attack. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, wait, it was Buizel. You suck, Buizel! And uh, Swift Attack, doing that same thing that it shouldn't have done to us in the beginning, and there we go, Dragon Rage for the win, what now? Alrighty, so that's one down, and we still got Weasel to go. Alright, you little, little slut, about to get defeated. Alrighty, the rain is falling, raindrops falling on my head. I'm getting poisoned, but it doesn't matter, cause I will kick your head inside out. And hello, look, it's a run, it's a roll. It's okay, all right, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna beat you so quickly, but then again, there's that swift attack hitting us both. Really? Okay. Here we go, Dragon Rage attack. Will it win? Does it win? It almost wins, god dang it. But here comes the Razor Leaf attack. Will it defeat both? Can it defeat both? Yes! It will defeat both. That's one guy that's been on a pain on our asses. And there's another guy! Critical hit. It does exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Critical hit. And, uh, alrighty. Everybody's getting experience points. The rain is continuing to fall. I'm getting hurt by poison. And we got one more Pokemon to go. Drifblim. Drifblim. Alrighty. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to switch out again because my Pokemon are gonna get poisoned. But it's all well worth it because I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you, Driplim, and uh, crap, there's poison. Alrighty. There's that bite attack. What now? What now? And it's super effective, but here's that gust attack. Not much of a big attack towards me. I will be losing some HP because of the poison, but it is what it is, right, guys? So here we go again. Let's go. Draw tomb. And a bite attack. Crap, I won't even get to use that <laughs> that rock that, that that rock tomb. I switched out for no apparent reason. Probably shouldn't have switched out. Yeah. Smart choice. Of course, many of you guys are gonna be saying, really, Draven? Really? You, you could have just beat him right there and then, but no, you just switched out for no reason. Okay. Well, enough about my imperfections. Let's move on and uh, heal my Pokemon right here. So let's go with two antidotes and a few super potions. I don't even know why I'm healing my Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because I'm antsy like that, I guess. Uh, okay, so there's two more berries right there. A wiki berry. Not related to Wikipedia. And, uh, nope, I'm not doing that. And a Mago berry. Alrighty. The Mago berry. That's what it sounds like. If you put it into like context or something. 
and I'm not doing anything else and I think that's pretty much it right there guys so we're gonna be moving on and as you can see somebody's waiting for us no not really and he's going to Celestic Town oh no wait he wanted to go somewhere else whatever so here we are guys Veilstone City and uh, oh, Team Plasma or Galactic members are there I always get them confused anywho stay tuned guys in the next episode we will adventure of this place see you guys